After holding on to the throne for years, Samsung faced a major challenge last year in the foldable phones space. While the Galaxy Z Flip 5 was a much improved flip style phone, it was overshadowed by the Motorola Razr Plus 2023. Not surprisingly, Samsung's back to challenge its rival with the Galaxy Z Flip 6. There are significant upgrades worth pointing out, like its new 50 megapixel main camera, more durable design, and more functional flex window display. In typical fashion, the foldable phone is also graced with many of the same Galaxy AI features I fell in love with in my Galaxy S24 Ultra review, along with a few new ones I haven't been seen before. Plus, there is a huge emphasis on personalization to help the phone feel like it's truly yours. Even with all these upgrades, it's going to take a lot to convince people to shell out $100 more for this new model. In my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 hands-on review, I will explain everything that's new and cool, and hopefully give you insights into whether the phone's $1,099 starting cost is worth it. No one wants to see a price hike, but that's the reality here as the Galaxy Z Flip 6 starting price goes up to $1,099. The entry-level model comes with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. I am on the fence about the higher price, but the new Flip will really need to prove its worth than Motorola held its latest Razr to the same $999 cost as before. If you need more storage on the Galaxy Z Flip 6, there is a 512GB option, but that will cost you extra of course. Pre-orders for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 are available starting today, July 10, with the phone available at Amazon, based by Samsung.com and other wireless carriers starting on July 24. There are a total of four main color options. You can pick Silver Shadow, Yellow, Blue, and Mint. Meanwhile, there are three additional Samsung.com exclusive colors, Crafted Black, White, and Peach. On the surface, it doesn't look like much has changed with the design of the Galaxy Z Flip 6. It is still incredibly compact, hand closed and constructed from aluminium to give it a solid feel. The size and design of the flex window also looks identical to last year, complete with that fin cutout on the bottom right where the display meets the cameras. However, I have to say that the designs elevated by the new pastel-like color options that the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is available in. The outlines of the camera lenses are also ascended by the same paint job, giving the phone a much more pleasing contrast. Samsung has also increased the Flip 6 durability with a new dual rail hinge design, giving the Flip a more responsive feel whenever I close it with the crease in the middle of the phone being considerably softer looking than its predecessors. Maybe it's just the new color options, but the Galaxy Z Flip 6 looks just as attractive as the new Razer phones I recently reviewed. Samsung also adds a dose of personalization when the Flip 6 is paired with the new flip suit cases that add unique interactive lock screens to the flex window. There are even a couple of new ones I checked out with built-in LEDs that light up the back of the phone powered via the phone's wireless charging. These add-ons go a long way to make people take notice of the phone. I am more stoked about the Galaxy Z Flip 6 than the Motorola Razr Plus 2024, especially if its camera performance ends up being significantly better. At the same time, I really like all the new Galaxy AI features because many of them help to make the phone look more customizable than ever before. However, I can't overlook that the Galaxy Z Flip 6 now commands a higher $1,099 cost. That's tough to sell more so when Motorola ended keeping the Razr Plus at $999. All told, Samsung's new flip phone really needs to hit it out of the park to convince people they should choose the Galaxy Z Flip 6. We will find out how well it pulls that off after more testing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.